Hi Soul Family, it's Latanya with Saggy Soul. Thank you so much for tuning into your reading. We are still in Aries season. Happy birthday, Aries. Uh, this is a reading for you. Before I get started, let me say thank you to all my old subscribers. I really appreciate you. Thank you to my new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you for subscribing, Soul Family. The likes, the shares, the energy, emails, comments, special stories. Special stories help to help others. Others who are going through the same situations, similar situations, and those who will be coming up behind the energy. So Aries, I've already read your horoscope for the month of April. Uh, hopefully you are putting plans in motion. You're still writing out your to-dos, your goals, uh, planting those seeds, uh, being ready to reap what you sow so that as you're planting your seeds, you're manifesting what's meant to be on your life path. You can see your growth down the road, six months, one year, 12 months, 14 months however much time you put it into, how much energy and time that you put into your projects and your goals. Bowing down to the Most High God every day, having the attitude of gratitude during a pandemic, that you are still able to wake up and create something new, do something different, start a career, a job, new relationships, leaving behind those people who keep you stuck on a karmic wheel, on a hamster wheel, chaos, confusion, games, habitual liars, habitual cheaters, all those people who stunt your growth, all those people who impact your money, all those people who um, take your energy, right? So I'm talking to Aries who are ready to make 2022 count. Don't forget to check your moon sign, rising Mars, Venus, all the uh, planets in your native birth chart that make up who you are. I think that's it. Happy birthday, Aries. I think you guys have until the 20th of this month. So hopefully you are celebrating a new you, a new birth of life, even during the pandemic. You're still moving, you're still doing, you're still thinking, and you're still acting. Let's go. I'm going to bring you on down. Let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. So Aries, I hope you're having a good weekend. I hope you're staying focused, focused on meditation, yoga, exercise, hiking, walking, biking, swimming, diving, all that good stuff, right? All those things that keep you active. All right. So Aries, when I pick up the deck, we have death. Whew. This could be a physical death, right? My condolences. This could be a spiritual death, right? We have the rising phoenix here. Death and rebirth. For some of you, you could have Scorpio in your chart, or you know a Scorpio. This is death and rebirth, right? Release the O, go into something new, or even moving on to the next level. Let's go ahead. Let's let's go ahead and shuffle the deck here. Aries. Aries. One more Aries. Cut the deck. There is your focus. We have the nine of swords in the reverse. Uh, we also have a card peeking out. What is this? With the knight of swords. So, someone's having sleepless nights or needs to communicate something. Someone's rushing in with messages. Interesting. But anyway, that's the focus right now. You also have Seven of Pentacles, but it's in the reverse. You also have the Two of Swords, but it's in the reverse. You also have the Lovers, Major Arcana in the reverse. You also have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. You also have the Five of Wands in the upright. And you also have the World Major Arcana. Hmm. This is a completion of something. Okay. So let's see if I can get this adjusted here.
Aries, you're focused the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Now, in the upright, this is someone who's in their head, restless nights, can't sleep, chaos, confusion. I call this pestilence energy. Uh, sometimes this could be energy that is sent to you. That could be that dark magic that's casted under the dark on the full moon, new moons. But there's also a spider web back here. This is almost like the tango, uh, tango webs we weave, right? Drama, chaos, people, places, things that are all involved. Maybe even things from the past, right? Things we've done, said, or things others have done to us. And in the reverse, Aries is coming out of that. Hmm. Let's say what's on the board real quick. So we have swords. Air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We also have wands. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have pentacles. Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. We also have the lovers, Major, Arcana, and the reverse, Gemini. And we also have the world. Scorpio. The world is another card to me, though. It's a little bit of everybody. Hmm. It's almost like someone's being guided by their spirit guides, their guardian angels, right? It's like the angel is holding the world. So Aries, the only fire sign is the wands here, this five of wands. You know, usually with the five of wands, it's um, chaos, confusion, fights, destruction. Uh, sorry for that if you had on headphones. But it's almost like a volcano erupting and a rebirth, I take this card as, right? Like that kundalini rising, this, almost like this person is holding lotus flowers. So you guys, bear with me. I want to read this particular card because this is not the usual five of wands that we see in the Rider weight. So let's see here. So it says five of wands. The five of wands erupts with change. The five of wands erupts with change, conflict, and struggle. But it also brings the opportunity for expansion and renewal. Internally, the fiery energy of wands ignites a restlessness that doesn't want to be held back. Externally, the five of wands creates chaos in different aspects in your life. It, sig it signals a challenging energetic time that is exciting, scary, and confusing at the same time. Everything seems to be shifting and moving in different uh, directions. The calm, comfortable place you once enjoyed is falling apart. The key to the five of wands is to hold on to your spiritual center as both the inner self and the outer self confronts change and navigates conflict. Okay, so this card is not like the usual five of wands, the strife, the fighting, the chaos, the confusion, the backstabbing. This is all about you, Aries. This is almost about the turbulence or the confusion or the old way of thinking, habits, people and places that are in you that are about to erupt, Right. Maybe that's why the Nine of Swords was in the reverse. Having that night of the soul, right? As they call it. Coming to realize the thing, people and places, maybe they have never been in our best interest. And the dark night of the soul, as they say, right? Having that in order to go through a rebirth stage. Having that in order to ascend to the next level. Having that in order to figure out what we're meant to do here, what's really, and who is really meant to be on our life path. 
So this is almost like a death card in rebirth, right? Anyway, we have the two of swords here. It's in the reverse. In the upright, this is decisions, right? As above, so below. What you manifest on your 3D is above in the 5D, right? The things that you work on, the things that you say, the things that you do. It's almost like an air sign, right? Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But this is in the reverse, so this is not being in your head anymore. This is figuring out where you need to go, what you need to do, how you need to do it. Who needs to be cut? Who needs to be? Who's a true friend? Who's not? Who's a true family member? Who's not? What's a good job opportunity? What's not? What's a good career? What's not? All right. And the Seven of Pentacles. Usually the Seven of Pentacles is, is laying seeds of a foundation, right? It's almost like while this person was laying seeds, they're still manifesting. They're almost in a dreamy state. I'm talking to someone who has their heart chakra over, but in the reverse, it's not building. And we have the lovers here. In the reverse. This is almost like Aries. A fire eruption realizing that you chose the wrong career. A fire eruption realizing that you chose the wrong person. You chose a friendship over another friendship. You chose a business opportunity over another. You chose one soulmate over a karmic soulmate. This is realizing that something was the wrong decision. We have the lovers in the reverse. That's the wrong choice. We have the seven of pentacles in the reverse. That's not working out. We have this, the nine of swords in the reverse. That's realizing the mistakes, the chaos, the confusion. For every action, the reaction. And we also have the Ten of Swords here. Right? The Nine of Swords to the Ten of Swords. But they're both in the reverse. The realization of people, places, and things. What's important? What's not important? Maybe I'm talking to Aries who put money over True friendships, money over family, money over divine connections. Surface levels, things that really don't mean anything, right? Having all the cars, the money, the clothes, the houses, but being alone. Being able to be the life of the party while you're out at the party, but going home alone. This is why the world cards is, is pretty much here. Really, re realizing that something has to be transformed. Realizing that whatever decisions were made, whether it was in career, relationships, this is almost like learning that lesson. For some of you, a karmic lesson, right? Picking lust over true love. Picking big money over true passion. Picking friends over family that were there with you in the beginning. Or, pick, or picking opportunists who wanted you just for your money, your connections, your looks. And after they got what they wanted, well, they bailed out. So it's going to be different for everyone, right? But I'm talking to... An Aries who has gone through that dark night of his soul, who's going through realizing who is meant to be on their life path, who is probably awakening to what people were all about in the beginning, right? Opportunists for some. Mm -hmm. 
So Aries, this is your reading. Congratulations on your rebirth. Congratulations on the new you, new start, new careers, new relationships. Once you become awakened, once you realize who you are, what you've dealt with, what you've gone through, you can't go backwards. You have to go forwards. You have to forgive yourself of the mistakes you've made and go for it. Repent to the God Almighty. Go out in nature, meditate, still the divine. Ask forgiveness of those that you've hurt and continue to move on. And that's how you complete cycles. That's how you obtain good karma and work off the old karma, right? Aries, this is your reading. Happy birthday. I hope you guys are doing well this week, this weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in to Saggy Soul. Please subscribe, like, share, and of course, comment. And from one soul to another soul, I love you so, family. Have a good week.